Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe to Train of Five. It would mean a lot to me. On this channel, if you are new, then I would like to tell you that we upload things related to soft skills, life skills, self-development, personality development and more. Stay tuned for more such videos and if you have anything that you want to mention, then please mention it in the comment box. Thank you so much. Now let's talk about today's video. Now that we are close to this year's ending and there are many things that we generally plan at the beginning of the year and there are many things which we cannot achieve due to whatever reason. There are many things which we plan and we plan in a particular manner and we plan it to finish up the task but you just cannot do them so that should not happen in 2023 and for this you need to watch this video till the end yes i'm going to talk about productivity now you know how close the relationship is of being productive and being successful so in this video our topic is Habits to improve your productivity. Actually, I'm going to talk about three habits to improve your productivity. Three essential habits to improve your productivity. What's productivity? First, let's understand that. The state or quality of being productive is called as productivity. The ratio of your output to input or to input to your output. So the amount of time that you give on a dedicated task and after that whatever is the output, whatever is the achievement, that is your productivity. So the balance of both, the ratio of both is your productivity. So to get your productivity started, you need to have certain things in place and you should plan ahead thinking about being successful with using your productive hack. So creating chunks of solutions shall get you through this. So stay tuned. Let's start. First one, plan a schedule. You might say that, you know, what is plan a schedule and that is super easy. But I would say that planning a schedule is definitely going to take your maximum amount of time. So now planning is up to an individual how he or she would plan planning it may be for a day it may be for a week it may be for a month or it could be yearly planning so plan your schedule at the same time every single day now let's say if you're planning to make a to-do list and you generally happen to make a to-do list for every single day then make sure you're going to write that to-do list at the same time so let's say I have to make a to-do list for tomorrow and today I make it at 8 p.m. So tomorrow, day after, it should be at 8 p.m. only because by doing this, what exactly I'm going to achieve is you're going to make it a habit or a routine for yourself. So you're basically going to set a routine that will actually be functionable for longer time. You can create deadlines for yourself if you want to make it more challenging and more exciting. So you can give deadlines for each task and then hold yourself accountable if you're not going to complete that task. Give reasons, explain the core reason of it and you should charge yourself or you should charge a fine or you should you know, punish yourself so that you get a push. I'm not saying punishment means you starve or you don't eat something or you know uh, you be harsh to yourself no i do not mean uh, that so punishment would be you have to finish the next two tasks super fast and super quick so it should be like maybe you know 24 hours a day and you should finish that task so something like that you will not give yourself a treat for a month so something like this, so punish yourself in a positive manner so that you can give a little push to yourself and be accountable and take responsibility if you're not going to work as per the planned schedule. Now, if you don't have or you don't understand how to plan a schedule for yourself, then internet is amazing. And you have tons and tons of website over there wherein you can get a template, download it for yourself, get a printout and then plan a schedule for yourself. Okay. Number two, 
ample of rest to reset. Now, rest, yeah, we all know that resting is so important. We all know the importance of rejuvenation, the importance of resetting our mind and body and soul. So yes, ample amount of rest, but at the right time, that is important. Completely allow yourself to rest and reset the mind. Your physical and mental being needs to rest timely. It needs to rest in order to function well. It needs to rest in order to feel energetic. It needs to rest in order to take the correct decisions and many more reasons like that. So rest will not only rejuvenate, but it will also calm yourself, it will also calm your body and mind, and it will not allow you to get into negative thoughts or the loop of negative thoughts. Rather, it would include a lot of enthusiasm, energy, and cheerful attitude towards every task that you plan to achieve. Above all, rest actually improves your performance. So whether it's physical performance or your mental performance, it definitely is a must. Number three is evaluate your consumption. You will see consumption. What is consumption? Is it electrical consumption? Is it water consumption? What kind of consumption? Yes, but before I tell you that, I want to share a quote. The action, consumption is basically it is an action of using a resource. Okay, it is an action of using a resource. What consumes your mind controls your life. Yes, so what consumes your mind, it controls your life. So whatever you consume in form of eating, in form of having something, in form of watching, in form of breathing, in form of looking at something, in form of hearing something, listening something. So everything around you actually creates that energy within. It is like a powerhouse, your consumption. It works as a powerhouse for you to create your life that you're planning. So you may consume positivity, you may consume good thoughts, you may consume boldness, inferiority, negativity, toxicity, entertainment, content and so on. So not necessarily that every person will consume only positivity, every person is going to consume content. There are people those who will consume entertainment in their life. There are people those who are going to consume toxicity in their life. There are people they are going to get attracted towards negativity. So it actually is very very important rather critical for you to evaluate yourself and understand what do you consume 70 percent of what you have and what you are is your future so always remember what you consume is going to be your future be wise while scrolling through your social media i'm not saying consume only good things but make wiser choices that's what i mean and I hope you get my point. For you to tell your brain what you consume is what you become. So you have to repeat this to yourself. For you to tell your brain what you consume is what you become. So if you want to become an entrepreneur, you need to consume information that will lead you to entrepreneurial thoughts. If you want to become a doctor, you need to consume things which are relatable to medical medicine so that way you need to be focused while you consume information everywhere around you so these were the three habits and some really knit or close-knit habits that i've shared with you to improve your productivity it may take a while for you to understand to absorb these things to actually you know, surround yourself with these habits or these tasks or these situations, I would say. But you need to understand one thing that if you understand these three things very, very well in 2023, then believe me, you are going to be successful in 2023.
And that doesn't mean that I do not make any mistakes. That doesn't mean that I do not face failures. That doesn't mean that I am all perfect. No. Even I am learning. I learn through each video. I learn through each training. I learn every single day from someone or someone else. So every single day I try to improve myself. I try to rectify myself. I try to evaluate myself and be a better person. And that's what I'm sharing with you. If that helps you, then I am glad and happy that it has helped you. Please pass this information to all the people, those who need such information, such motivation. And stay tuned on this channel for more things. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you soon.